we made it. Right there is some ugly legs and a pallet, and we are going to open this bad boy today. So we've got the lovely triple exhaust Ninja 300. Um, just above it, we've got a top-down view of the pallet. Uh, it's right here in the frame as well. 33 of them in there. It's going to be good. It's going to be awesome. I, I managed to get my hands on the manifest, okay? So I know a little bit what's going on. I uh, priced out a few of them. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to open. Not yet. Not just yet. But we're going to open. We're going to bring it over here. We're going to put it on this table. From here, we're going to turn it, see if it turns on. If it turns on, then we're going to go back and we're going to put a number on it, okay? And we want to give you guys the opportunity, if you want to make some sort of deposit or something, to get your hands on these things first, okay? If you don't, that's fine. If nobody wants to do it, whatever, we'll just stop. But we want to put it out there. There's some pretty freaking awesome laptops in here. I'm not even kidding you right now. And if they boot, then what we'll do is we'll put a number to it and you guys can claim it. If I can fix it and it runs fine, because these are all salvage, right? If I can fix it and it runs fine, boom. Hey, do you want this still? Sure, great, let's do it. Nah, refund, right? Because it's all, it'll be all through PayPal. What do you guys think? We've got... Uh, We've got four in the D over here. I don't have a camera to look at them. Where is he? Get in frame, you douche. We got four in a D who's going to be helping us. So here's how it is. The price is how much would this thing go working on eBay minus fees. So you're paying price at, like after we've deducted fees. Look, no, that sounds bad. We, the price before you pay fees. So because I don't have to put it on eBay, he doesn't have to put it on eBay. We don't have to try and sell it. So you're getting that kind of quick sale rate, okay? So I've already done some math and I can give you Canadian and USD depending on where you live. I'm not shipping this stuff all over the world. I'm sorry, it's just too, it's just too heavy. So it's gonna be like somewhere around 30 Canadian dollars to ship it, which is what, like 25 American? So just keep that in mind, okay? Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get things started up in here. All right, four in the D, open her up. Let's see it, let's see it. Whew. Things are getting spicy. Spicy. Woo! Let's go full screen on that puppy. The first one is Adele and not the singer. Careful with the tape. You can take the tape off. Just be careful. Whoa! Okay. It's a 360 hinge, okay? So look at that. Whoops. I'm putting it over there. Look at that. So that's pretty friggin' sweet. I got it. I found it, okay? So this guy right here, okay? This guy right here, it has an i5. 1.7, so that's, I believe it's a quad core. 1.7, a fourth gen i5, okay? Eight gigs of RAM, a 500 gig hard drive, and a 360 hinge. It's a 13.3. Okay, next one on the docket. What do we got? Oh, he pulls an Alienware. Okay, this is an i7, okay? i7, fourth gen. It's got eight logical cores. It has a, a 970M, which is a, a decent NVIDIA graphics card. It's decent, it's fairly decent. It has 16 gigabytes of RAM. It has a one terabyte hard drive plus a 128 SSD. All right, so let's plug it in and boot. Beep, beep. Oh, we got, We did you see the light? Let's see if it boots. Alienware, it boots! OM double Ds, look at that. Look at that, no bootable device. It means that there's no OS or hard drive plugged in. It's right now shining blue. This thing looks perfectly fine. So I'm curious of what's actually wrong with it. The bottom plate has been lifted. It's all shining blue. It's got vents in the front. It, this is craziness. So if you're interested in something like this bad boy, shining blue, look at that. This thing is freaking sweet. All right, if you're interested in this laptop, first one to put five, seven, three, six. First one to put it gets grabs at that price, okay? We'll stick this in the laptop so we know. We're gonna write down who's the winner. We'll take, pre we'll take a deposit of, I don't know, 50 bucks or something. And then if it doesn't work out, you just get your deposit back. So it looks like we've got another one that's good to go. So if you missed, it's okay. There's that one just turned on. So we're good for right now. So we're gonna do $50 deposit. If you don't pay the 50, we're just gonna do it to the next person who wants it. We're not bidding. We're not bidding, we're reserving. All right, here we go. We're gonna go for another laptop opening. Whoa, we got a Dell. This one's a Dell Gaming. We're booting. Holy Dyna. Yeah, it's got an NVIDIA in it. This is a Dell Assistant, so I don't even think that. There's no hard drive, so we gotta put a hard drive into it. It's got some damage, but we're gonna, we're gonna figure out what it's, what's going on with it, okay? Okay, so we, whoa, here we go. Let me tell you all about it. All right, so here's what we got. We got, uh, I believe it's, um, USB 3, okay, on the side here. So we're just gonna have a look around. Nice padding on the bottom. So this is a Dell uh, i7, sixth generation. It's a 6700. That puts it at 2.6 gigahertz. 
okay, an I7. This is not damage, that's tape that can be taken off. We have a little bit of damage up in here, and that might have been where the write-off came from, but it's just plastic that can be fixed. So you're not gonna get a perfect looking one. Okay, this is, has a one terabyte, eight gigs of RAM. This is 960M. This is a 4K display. This display is 4K. That is nuts. That is quality freaking display. 4K, and it's not broken in any way. There's some, there's some smudges on it that you can see right now. Look at that. Because it boots, I know there's some damage here. So we got to take that into the consideration too. First person put 4091. If you want this, if not, we're just going to move on. There's some damage to it, so we get it, we get it. The price is uh, 500 CAD, 400 US. Uh, the thing that's a kicker on this, it's got a decent graphics card, and it's got a 4K display. I can put more RAM in it too if we have extra RAM, but make sure you put 4091. If we don't have this, we're going to check, okay? Before we leave tonight, we're going to check. If we don't have the PayPals, we're going to put them back up. So stick around. Maybe people don't actually fall through with it. Who knows? So we got an HP next. Oh, look at that. It's a nice small one, so that's good. It is cracked. Okay, does it boot? Okay, I'm pretty sure that we could fix that screen, but let's have a look while well, he's playing around with it. So this laptop is a gaming laptop. It is, wow, it's a gaming laptop. It's got an i7-6700. Okay, so that's a wicked one. 16 gigabytes, uh, two terabyte hard drive. Uh, it's touch screen, but that's kind of broken. It has a 6, 9, or 960M in it, and it's 1080p. That's a freaking gaming one. I can't believe that's a gaming one. Are you serious? It does have a nice finish on it. Were you guys looking at that? I think what we can do with this is we could probably fix that. Uh, the screen. I'm not going to say it because we, it might take a month to order in a screen. I don't know, right? All right, so it, another dud. Okay, so that laptop right there that we just saw is worth 800 Canadian, 680 American. That's a wicked laptop. I can't believe that. It doesn't look like a gaming laptop. This is an Asus, okay? 14-inch laptop, 2.4 gigahertz, uh, one terabyte, a 920M, uh, 1366. So it's not the higher end, but it is, a, it is a gaming one. You can do games on this. Not a lot, but you can do some games on it. Here we go. Ooh, this is a nice one. I like that. Pressing the button. Absolutely nothing. So, um, so it's probably a dead diode. Turn it on. Uh, that's what usually happens with these things. But it goes in the scrap pile for now. All right. So another pass. Here we go. We have a nice Dell on this one. A thin one. This Dell looks nice. Look at that thing. We got it. Yep, no hard drives. So we got to buy a bunch of hard drives. That's fine. Okay, so what we're going to do, Dell. Okay, so it's, apparently it's a normal laptop. So there's nothing gaming about it. Okay, so we. it is so nice though. Like this is very nice. A sweet, I don't know what that, that's the same shimmer you get on like a car. That's pretty awesome. So it's a 2.4 gigahertz, 16 gigabytes of RAM, one terabyte hard drive, and it's classified as silver. So I do have it here. I'm assuming this is an i5. No, i7. It looks like it's an i7. Um, that's what the sheet's telling me, but I have to verify. That does look like a 17. So it's 17 in. So sleek. It looks awesome. I apologize. Just ignore everything. Um, it's got a nice shimmer like you'd see on a vehicle. Uh, nice pad. This screen is perfectly fine. It boots. So we know there's that. The bottom. I hear a little something. I'm going to be popping this open, so I'll be cleaning it out under there anyways. Um, all these things are going to have Windows 10 on them when we're done with them. It's missing the pad. That's it, right? It's missing the pad, the little grippy pads on the bottom. This guy's got the i7 2.4 in it. it would, did I say 2.4 or 2.5? I can't remember. But it's going for 300 Canadian, 255 American, 16 gigabytes of RAM, 1 terabyte hard drive, but it's not even in there. So you'll probably be getting a 125 or 256 SSD, so it goes freaking fast. Boom. You want it? Put that number in the, in the chat. Okay, you put $50 in if it doesn't work out you get it back. No problem If it works out the laptop great easy fix you get a laptop you pay the rest Okay, you just pay the difference. All right, we've got another one here. We have an Acer with a sticker on it What's going on in this one? Ooh, look at that HDMI. Let's have a look at the specs on this one. Uh, there we go. I got it right there. Okay, so it's convertible So apparently you can 360 hinge that okay. We're gonna 360 hinge this apparently it's a convertible. Let's see what happens. Ugh, look at that. That's pretty cool. So it's a touch screen, but it's got a giant crack. So we'll have to figure out what's going on there. So it's a 14 inch touch. It has an Intel integrated GPU. It has an i5 6 gen. All right. 
at 2.3 gigahertz. A 250 gig SSD in here, apparently, maybe they took it out. Eight gigabytes of RAM, and apparently this ran Windows 10. We got a nice Mac, apparently it's been wiped. It's a MacBook Pro. We don't have any Mac power jack, so I have no idea what to tell you guys. Bring the Apple up here. Well, let's have a look at it, let's read some specs. It is beautiful, I guess, I don't know. I'm not an Apple dude. All right, we have a MacBook, so it's an Apple with a 15.4. It's got an Intel i7 in it. Yeah, 3.1 gigahertz, okay. It's got eight gigs of RAM, 256 gigabyte SSD. Um, whoa, this thing is tight. This is, holy Dinah. Do you guys wanna take, uh, what did we say that last one was worth? I gotta, I gotta keep spitting out the numbers here. This laptop is worth 1200 to me, $2,100 laptop right here that I'm staring at. We can't get it to start. We don't know if it's just a power problem or what. So unfortunately, no bidding, no bidding, no reserving right now. That's $1,200 laptop right there to me. That's after I've calculated everything. That's not. Oh, we got a doozy. Oh, it's exciting. We got another Alienware, everybody. So this one is a pretty, pretty freaking wicked one, actually. This is uh, one of the higher end ones that we have. This is a uh, i7, okay, 16 gigs of RAM, 256 gig SSD with a one terabyte drive. It has 17.3 inch, a GTX 980M in it, okay? With 2.6 gigahertz process, ooh, excuse me. Uh, the display is a 1080p display. So this thing is rocking, but we can't get it to boot. Well, it was a good try, but we, I have high hopes for that one. So we got the next one caught up. It is another Mac, so hopefully we got a boot on the Mac here. It's a MacBook Air. If show it off a little bit, MacBook Air. This is a, uh, a 1.8, 8 gigs of RAM, 128 SSD, 13 inch screen, okay? So that's a fairly decent model, but we can't get it to boot right now. On to the next. We're prepping the next one here for you guys. We got an Acer this time. Let's take a look. Looks brand new, he says. I think we might be able to get this one to boot. I got a good feeling. It is, oh, it's a netbook. Okay, so it's, how big is it? 15.6 inches. It's got two gigs of RAM, a dual core 1.6. So this thing is, I should be giving you guys prices. I, I've been slacking on that. This thing's worth $150 or $120 American. Let's look at that, uh, that last Mac that we did. The Air is worth 600 Canadian, 510 American. Whoa, we got a boot. How crazy is that? Is this thing, have so this is the netbook with 1.6 gigahertz, Giga -giga gigahertz. Um, we let it go for 150. It might be a little bit more because I'd have to put a trackpad in it, but this is a nice little unit. It's nice and light. Look at that. Um, the keys all look to be there. First one to put 8050 in the comments. Um, we're gonna we're gonna go uh, 150 CAD. USD is 120. So 8050. If you're interested in this laptop, we got another Mac happening. Look at that little guy. How big is that? It's freaking tiny. This thing is tiny. So it's an 11.6 incher. Okay, it's got 120 gig SSD. It's an i5 1.6 with four gigabytes of RAM. Let's cut over and have a look. This is nuts. This is an i7, okay, 2.6 gigahertz. It's got a 965 M in it, okay? It's got a one terabyte plus a 128 SSD, 16 gigabytes of RAM, 17.3 screen. We're not gonna get rid of it. It's not booting, so we're not gonna get rid of it. What does the sticker say? It's wrong with it. Water damage, oh my God. <clears throat> There's no water in it. It just has water damage. So. This thing is nuts. It weighs an insane amount, but we're gonna have to pass on it. <clears throat> we can't get it to boot. It's worth 650 Canadian, 550 American. So it's not that bad, it's not that bad. So we have an i5, sixth gen, okay? So we have a 1920 by 1080p screen. So it's got a 250 gig SSD, 14 inch, got eight gigs of RAM. This laptop is worth 500 Canadian, 425 American. Look at that. Look at that thing, <laughs> like right in the face. Just go to bed, you know what I mean? Oh, my voice is not gonna be here tomorrow, I'll tell you that right now. So that's, that thing won't boot. We don't have a power source for it. It might actually be able to boot. Maybe the screen's just a little bit, a little bit twerked a little bit, but yeah. We have a Dell convertible, okay? So the Dell convertible, it's got, ooh, it's a 1080p screen. Oh my, a shattered screen. It's an i7, 2.3 gigahertz. It's got eight gigs of RAM and a 500 gig hard drive. A 13.3 inch convertible laptop in Spron, 360 hinge. Um, make it, 
show us show us the 360 hinge look at that oh we got a boot oh yeah all right anybody want to reserve this puppy this thing is worth 300 canadian 250 american so it's not even worth that much it's a netbook it's a 1366 by 768 so it's not very high res it's got four cores 1.6 gigahertz four gigabytes of ram go ahead and open that Ooh, that looks pretty good on the inside that looks nice. 500 gigabyte hard drive. We'd put an SSD in that. See the value on this thing? 175 Canadian, 150 American. Boom, there it is. It's got an i3 6th gen in it at uh, Intel graphics, okay? We have uh, eight gigabytes of RAM in there, a one terabyte drive. It's a 15 inch touch, apparently. That's what it says. Uh, 1366 by 768. So this is a normal freaking laptop. It's worth 250 Canadian, 212 or 210 American. So we're, we're talking about the lower end laptops. We want to get some exciting stuff. You know what I mean? Oh, we got an Asus. This has got an i5 6th gen in it. It's got 8 gigs, 1 terabyte drive, 15 inch, 1366 by 768. This is a normal laptop. That laptop right there is worth $450. That's $380 American dollars. Whoa, this is nuts. I'm, the suspense is killing me. It's an Alienware. Hello, everybody. This is an i7. Okay, 2.5 gigahertz. It's got one terabyte plus 128 ssd can you open that puppy up is this screen broken okay this has a 980m a gtx 980m it's 17 inch touch screen it says it's touch screen it's got a 16 gigabytes of ram and how's that screen yeah if anybody wants one of these make sure you we got to get the reserves in um it's a 1080p screen okay it's it's a freaking nice one it's worth 700 canadian dollars We'll give it to you for 600 American. And if you want it, it's 1620 right there. 1620. First one in the comments reserves it. Make sure you get your $50 into PayPal with the 1620 as you, in the comments when you send it. You know what I mean? So we, can, so we can keep everything lined up here. Oh, I got it. Oh, this is a decent one. This is insane. Boom. It may look like it's not packing a punch, but let's talk about it. This has an i7-4700 in it. It's got, uh, so that's eight cores at 2.5 gigahertz. We have a 12 gigabyte of RAM, 1000 HDD. Uh, it has integrated and a GTX 550M, a 1080p uh, web, it's, wow. Uh, it's got wireless N, it's got Windows 10, it's got a webcam. I mean, it's got everything on this thing. Keyboard lits, it's got, we're good. We're into BIOS. This is amazing. Okay, this is worth, uh, what do we got here? 500 Canadian or 425 American. This is the number if you want it. It's a 7010. Okay, so we got 500 CAD or uh, 425, whoop, 425 USD. So uh, 7010 seven if you want this guy right here. It's a gaming one for 425 bucks. That's not bad at all. Uh, next up, we have an Apple. If people like apples, it's got a Under Armour sticker on it. What do you know? Uh, so we have a 1.6 gigahertz. Okay, I think it's a quad core. We have uh, eight gigabytes of RAM, 128 uh, gigabytes SSD, and it's a 13 incher. So we're gonna hit the power on that one. That's worth $550 Canadian or 600 or 470 American. We got an HP happening. So we have an HP, it's a 15 inch. I can tell you that already. So this thing has an i7-4700 HQ. So that's a pretty decent process, fourth gen. 2.3 gigahertz. Oh, it's got a nice scar on it too. It's got 16 gigabytes of RAM. It has an 850M, GTX 850M in it. So you can play games on this thing. This laptop is worth 500 or 425. Holy are you kidding me? That thing looks sweet. That thing looks sweet. Oh my gosh, the suspense. Holy crap. Oh, this is the best laptop tonight. This is the best one tonight. This laptop is a Dell i7-7700 HQ. Okay, this thing is smoking fast. It has, it's a 15 inch, so it's small and compact. Look at that, that's a cool looking thing. Okay, so, Eight gigs of RAM, one terabyte drive. It has a GTX 1050 Ti with a 1080p screen in there. This thing is freaking awesome. 900 Canadian, 650 or 660 American. We're gonna try and boot this puppy. I guarantee you right now it's running five, 
19.5 at like 9 amps. Let's talk about it. It's a 3.1 gigahertz processor, 8 gigs of RAM, 256 gigabytes. It's 13 inches and it boots. What the hell? And it freaking boots. <laughs> okay, you guys ready for the price on this puppy? 1,200 Canadian dollars. So this is 1,000 US dollars. $3,000. And we're missing, a, a, the, the keyboard's got a little something with it. Oh my gosh, this is insane. The first one that works, crazy. This is insanity. Okay, this thing is freaking light too. So if you're interested, if you want to reserve, uh, it's 1200 Put in the comments, 9338. If you're interested, first one, make sure you get your $50 thing in there again. 2018 model, okay? It's got an i5, 3.1, 8 gigabytes, 256 gigabyte, uh, 8 gigabytes of RAM, 256 um, gigabyte SSD, uh, 13 inch. We have a, uh, it's super thin. It's got an i5, 1.6, 4 gigabytes. Uh, 128 gigabytes of hard drive SSD, 13.3 uh, inches. $500 or 425 US. So that one's a pretty interesting one. So we got another MacBook Air. Okay, there it is. Four in the dirt here showing it off. This has got an i5 1.6 with four gigabytes of RAM, a 128 gigabyte SSD at 13.3 inches. Oh, oh, do we have another Mac that boots? Oh my gosh, it's got folder not found. So we'll look into that. If you want a Mac, this one's worth. If you want this bad boy, okay, MacBook Air, uh, we're gonna have to put an OS on it, apparently. I think it's been wiped. Does it say, yeah, it's been wiped with the OS. So we'll have to get an OS back on it, that's fine. If you want this, the number is 0528. Put it in there, we'll reserve it for you. It boots, I'm happy. We'll figure it out, okay? It's gonna be good. If, if you reserve one and you send us the 50 and it doesn't work out, guess what? You get the 50 right back. There's no loss here, okay? Uh, we have a 1.6, okay, uh, gigahertz. I think that's a dual core, at least a quad. It's probably a quad. 8 gigabytes of RAM, 128 gigabytes of hard drive SSD at 13.3 inches. We've got a whole stack of Mac. So we got another Mac on the go here. 2018 model, oh boy. It's 13 inches. We got an i5 2.7, right? So a quad core 2.7. Uh, 8 gigabytes of RAM, 128 gigabytes of SSD. This thing, oh, this is a newer one, man. This is craziness. We got a boot. Can you believe it? Oh, we got a damaged screen. Oh, we got a, we got a displaying. Where's, where's my files? This thing is worth 600 Canadian, 500 American dollars. Look at that thing. That looks smexy. Um, it does have screen damage, but that can be fixed. So if you're interested in a Mac... We can fix the screen. We'll, we'll get it figured out. The number here is 0522 if you want to reserve this for yourself. All right. So this is a netbook, HP netbook. It's got a 2.16 uh, gigahertz processor. It's a dual core. It is touchscreen. It's 11.6 touchscreen, 4 gigabytes of RAM, 500 gigabyte hard drive, 1366, and a 360 hinge. Look at that puppy. Ooh, that looks pretty slick. It's a 1.6 gigahertz, a four gigs of RAM, 500 gig hard drive, 11 inch touch. Uh, those screens are really expensive to fix. Uh, let's see how much that's worth. Let's see, let's see. So that one's worth 200 bucks. So it's actually not that bad. 200 Canadian, 170 US. So it's not that bad. Yeah, it's a sleek gaming one with a 4K display. So we got an HP, okay. It's an i7, uh, i7 7500, okay? It's got 16 gigabytes of RAM, 512 gigabyte of SSD. It's a touch screen. Screen is shattered. Oh, that's a shame. It's a 4K display, 360 hinge. Well, let's look at the graphics card. The graphics card is a 940M. So pretty decent. You can game on that. You can definitely game on that. Um, the screen is gone on that one, and it's 4K, so it's probably gonna be worth more than the laptop to fix that. But that was a pretty cool, awesome one. Let's check how much. Whoa! That laptop's worth $1,000. $1,000. It's worth 765 American. It's worth a thousand freaking dollars. That's crazy. That sucks. In shipping, this, okay, there's a story about this pallet. Look at that. Look at that. There's a story about this pallet. It's been on a truck for like two weeks because they screwed up my address and wouldn't deliver, right? So it's been on a truck for two weeks and guarantee that that's truck shatter. Absolute guarantee. Oh, I can. Oh, we got beeping. 
We got lots of beeping. We got fans lighting up. We got beeping. I feel like I'm at a hospital right now. So I don't think this one's going to do it. <clears throat> so we'll take this one out. It's got an i7-6700 in it. Okay. Um, it's got 12 gigs of RAM. Holy Dinah. A one terabyte hybrid hard drive. 27 inch. It's, that's the gaming one. Okay. It's the 930. So you can play games on that one. Um, that only goes for 300 bucks. Whoa. 300 Canadian, 250 American. Look at that. That's crazy. Oh my gosh. This one's nice. Look at that all in one. Okay, so, whoa, oh, this is an AMD. It's an A10-8700, eight gigabytes one ter of RAM, one terabyte hard drive, 23 touch, a 1080p screen. 200 Canadian dollars, 170 American dollars for this. Can you believe that? That's crazy. So that is it, guys. Thank you so much for joining. Let's head over. Let's have a look at what we've got. Right here is a stack of not working, uh, or not 100% working uh, gaming laptops. This is a stack of gaming laptops. We're talking freaking Alienware, you name it, that boot. Uh, we have what? These Macs, we don't know. These are possible running just fine. Need a few fixes. These are what? Those are uh, piles that we got to work quite a bit or just ignore them completely. So we've got quite a bit going on here. My guess is we're going to make our money back on this and then some. It's not going to be an insane amount, but it's definitely going to be worth the haul. So if you guys like what you see, uh, make sure you follow, subscribe, the whole nine. Appreciate everybody who showed up today. My voice is gone. Thank you for joining. Uh, next time, maybe they won't keep it on the truck for two weeks. You know what I mean? Thank you all for watching. Ryan, have a great night. Enjoy your work, whatever it is. <laughs> um, we're done here. We got to get out of here. I got to pull the most likely laptop to fix to get that fixed in first. So we got to figure out which one that is. We'll see you guys next time. Have a good one. Okay?